and there she sits. Oh, Mother's Day 2021. It's been sitting since. It is the weekend after Father's Day. Yes, I miss driving this car, but I have had been very busy. Yeah, it's been sitting since. And I need to figure out what's wrong. And I think I know what's wrong. Let's get under there. All right, so you are seeing this with me for the first time. And I have a hunch of what's going on. I'll explain to you what happened. Mother's Day, 2021. Um, I am, <laughs> whoops, I'm driving my mother-in-law for a very short cruise. Uh, she had never been for a ride in this car. It's been on the road for, I don't know, two years. And, uh, we're about two miles from the, from the house. And it all of a sudden just made a rattling noise like almost sounded like a fan and then it ended in a bang so that's about what it sounded like bam and it was check the engine and had Uh, check the engine. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, could only turn it about mm, 270 degrees. Approximately. So, I'm going to go to the other side. I think I know what happened, but I'm just checking. All right, we're on the passenger side. Um, I didn't mention, uh, so yeah, when I gave it a little gas, I actually, I, when I heard that noise, I pushed the gas pedal just a little bit, just to see, it, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if the car was still running or what, and it, and it was. I wish I had just shut the key off because the bang was what scared me. And I feel like I feel like I dropped I dropped a rod. That's what I feel like. And I think the piston hit it. That's a lot of that is a lot of movement right there. Oh, that's a lot of movement, too. So, it has been some time. Yes, there are cobwebs. Sad to say, but I tell you what, I miss driving this car. And that's why I'm here. I'm checking it out. So, when I heard that... I actually thought it was something in the fan housing, but uh, quick check pulled this off and it is definitely not. It is something in the bottom end. All right, this is the big reveal. I can see bad things already. This is exhaust on number two, I think it is. I thought it was number one, it's number two. and. Yeah, there's something sitting in there that's not supposed to be there. And it's that. Let's see.
Yeah. Well, that didn't take long. Well, <laughs> that's a little worse than I thought. I guess uh, damage happens pretty quick. Okay. I was just hoping it would be uh, a broken valve and replace the valve, but well, yeah, that's cool, right? Well, I found this old single port head out in my stash. I'm gonna give it a bit of a clean and just kind of overall evaluate it. I'm trying to just figure out what the next step is here. Um, trying to keep the budget down on building the engine, but at the same time, I don't want to end up in the same place again anytime soon. So, so I'm gonna clean this up, see if it's any good, and um, I don't know if I don't know if this is gonna be the route or not, but uh, gotta start somewhere, right? Let's clean this up. All right, so we're starting with a nice clean workbench, and. Uh, nice and cool down here it's good 80 or 90 degrees outside so what we have this is the head that came out of the engine We've got to transfer some things from this one here's the beat up valve you guys believe already saw sitting like that and there is the piston again all right so we got a couple things to transfer intake manifold studs missing uh, gonna re replace uh, pretty much all of these exhaust um, studs and we've got a nice package of parts in here to put the engine back together. Pretty much just the top end. We're doing uh, new valves, new valves, valve springs, um, and valve, well there's our studs, and we got valve guides. J-Bugs. All right, we're gonna get some stuff transferred over here. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is run a Dremel right across this and see if we can uh, stick a screwdriver in there and get that out, crossing my fingers. All right, I thought I'd give this stuff a try. Free all, we'll see. Um, it's been sitting for about 10 minutes. I was kind of just chasing some threads and uh, getting the intake studs in. So let's see if this actually is gonna work out. Cross your fingers. Of course not. Why would it work? Well, I figured I'd give it another shot. I heated it up. Before I drill it out, nothing. All right, gotta drill it out. Damn it! All right, we're gonna go ahead and put some threads in the old valve guide. Three eighths, sixteen tap. Once you got your threads in there, we're gonna screw a bolt in there, 3 8 bolt, okay? So then you got the old, the broken valve stem and flip it over, beat it out. Okay, let's do it.
you don't need to like go crazy with the thread, just enough to get a good bite in there. Okay, I'll keep going with that. I like to use tap magic. Makes life a whole lot easier. All right, it helps if you uh, thread the right side. Let's try this again. By the way, anybody's looking for a good uh, tap set? I was sick of uh, all the crappy ones, you know, Chinese garbage that's out there. This is, um, picked this up, we had it on Amazon. And uh, I had a nice like size credit, 42 piece. It's really nice. You know, it was, it was like kind of right around a hundred dollars, but maybe 80. I don't remember, but it's really nice. All right, let's get that thing out of there. This is a little nerve-wracking part. You gotta be really careful with the hammer. But, I recently scored this at the dump. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and use it like that. It'll be on a safe side. You wanna see what I'm doing? Okay. What's that? Watch everything fall off the uh, workbench, huh? All right, you just don't want to go too far with this. Okay, it's going pretty good. Got it most of the way out. See? There it is. Just uh gotta shim up my boards here a little more. There it is. We got two out now. I got six more to go. All right, so this tap just came in, and um, I'm gonna see if I can th clean up those threads. I don't think they need a, to be saved with, you know, like a helicoil. So I'm just gonna run, I'm gonna run this tap through and make sure it cuts nice and good. Feels good, it's not really cutting much, it's just cleaning the threads up, and uh, bring it back when I do that. All right, so this is the side that's pretty boogered up I'd say I think it's like borderline of I don't know it just doesn't it doesn't seem to need the Gila coil so I'm gonna do my best to clean them threads up it'll be fine Let's see how this is gonna come out
Got some tap magic. Yeah, this will be fine. I couldn't really start it from the other side, that's why I'm doing it from this side. It's nice to just go through everything and just clean up threads. That way you just have a nice, nice like professional start, you know? Well, that cleaned up real easy actually. I mean I couldn't I couldn't thread a spark plug into it, but just maybe just cross cross thread it a little bit at one time and it's enough to make it nasty. Alright, cool. Another one crossed off the list. And yeah, we just gotta get them valve guides straightened out.